Hello everyone, today I'm very excited to share and discuss with you one of my very favorite complexion products, which is powder foundation. Today I'm wearing two different shades of powder foundation as well as a loose powder, which I'm going to demo for you on my bare skin. I'm sure some of you may know, but now that I am 30 years old, I have become a full-time esthetician. That also means as a skincare conscious woman, I am even that much more careful about what makeup products and complexion products I will use. So now that I have worked in beauty for so long and I've tried so many products over the years, I'm very happy to say that La Paris new reformulated powder foundation and loose powder are just phenomenal. And that is with the experience of having tried La Paris old former, I should say, powder foundation that used to be packaged in an elegant rectangular compact. And that was a lovely powder as well. But this new skin caviar powder foundation that I'm wearing today is so modern, so luxurious, and truly worth every penny. I'm only wearing powder, no concealer, no liquid foundation, no fancy stuff off camera, I promise. I really do think that the caviar extract in the caviar water infused in the powders creates this firm and well hydrated canvas and a lot of makeup is touted to have skincare benefits but I truly think that on my dry skin a lot of those benefits are lost. In this instance as you can see my complexion does not look dry whatsoever. It just feels exceptional and I think it's because it's nearly weightless on my skin. My skin texture along the cheeks where I have acne scarring is not highlighted in any way and I actually don't have to blot for more than almost 10 hours when I'm wearing this trio of powders. If you're looking for powder products that are smoothing, minimizing pores, fine lines, and wrinkles, and feel supremely comfortable on as well, look no further. I'm going to show you my bare skin so that you can see how easy it is to build coverage with just these powders. And now without any further ado, let's jump into my everyday skin caviar powder foundation routine. For those of you who haven't seen my bare skin in a while, during esthetician school, I really took the time to take better care of it. Despite my acne scarring and despite the redness and the textural imperfections, my skin has improved greatly. I've spent my entire career in beauty and I do truly believe that now at the age of 30, that consistency is the key. So if you want great makeup, you have to start with great skin. The first step of my skincare routine is always essence. And I actually adore essence because I really take the time to press it into my skin and I like to finish by patting it with my entire hand into the face. Now we're going to move on to serum with the Skin Caviar Liquid Lift. I like to warm it up between my fingertips and just press it into the skin starting with the center of the face, massaging outwards. And again, caviar water and caviar extract are known for their firming benefits. So I do find that this really does help prep my skin for makeup products such as powder. Now, if you buy one skincare product this summer, I highly recommend that you make it the Essence of Skin Caviar Eye Complex. And I love this eye gel. Because I have dry skin, I'm very prone to getting milia around my eyes, but this has really made a huge difference. It reduces my dark circles, it makes my eye area look firmer and brighter. I absolutely adore this product, so I highly recommend it. I just pat a drop between two fingers, and I actually like to use my middle finger instead of my ring finger and I just take it around the orbital bone. Now as that sets, I'm going to move on to my Skin Caviar Luxe Cream. I like to use the flat paddle scooper that is provided just because it keeps the product sanitary. And again, with any sort of richer cream, you really do want to warm it up between the fingertips. And I'm just going to pat this into my skin. And even though I massage it into my forehead, I find that patting it around my cheeks helps them look a little bit more voluminous. And now that the skincare is complete, let's move on to the powder foundations. I'm going to start with the lighter shade, Pesh NC20, using the powder foundation brush, which is dome-shaped, ideal for the press and roll motion that I'll be using to apply these powders. Press the top of the bristles and coat it evenly without tapping the excess off. I'm going to start by using this press and roll motion 
And you can start with the forehead. I like to start with this cheek because I have the most redness here. It's ideal to start in the center of the face because that's where the heaviest coverage should be. It takes down shine, but it doesn't make my skin look dull or lifeless or really flat. Just keep pressing and rolling. The coverage is so easy to build and it's very quick to do this, which is why powder foundation is actually my choice of base makeup for everyday use. It's just really fast and convenient. Now in this video, I won't be wearing concealer at all because I want to show you how incredible this coverage is. And it just looks like real skin. Well, more like slightly airbrushed natural skin. And the higher you take the coverage in the center of the face, as you blend out, you want to make sure you carry it down the neck and jawline as well. The best part about this reformulation is how the powder minimizes pores, it minimizes fine lines, it doesn't settle here around the eye area towards the end of the day I don't even have to reapply it because it just lasts at least 8 to 10 hours without needing a touch-up Which I think is fairly impressive for something that looks this natural yet covers so well now If I pull my hair back you can see I only put a little on in the front of the cheek But you can see how much more even my skin tone is on this side of the face where I'm using just one coat or one layer of powder, whereas over here on this side of my face, I'm not using anything at all. They have included a very interesting puff. It's not like a traditional sponge. It's a little bit more dense. And when you pick up the product with this sponge, it creates really seamless full coverage. So if you have pore issues, if you have oily skin and you just need high coverage, you can definitely use this sponge puff all over your face. I always make sure to use it around my chin, which is where I have the most discoloration and around the nose where these broken capillaries are so now you can see exactly how much coverage just this little sponge managed to add and even now I'm still thoroughly impressed by what I see on the camera and in person it's just absolutely phenomenal it's the most luminous matte powder I've ever encountered I really don't see the need to use concealer when I'm using this powder now my forehead is generally always half a shade or one shade darker than the rest of my face which means I usually buy the same powder foundation in two different shades one slightly darker this next one that I'm going Going to be using is Honey Beige NW30 and I've already applied it to this side of my face as a slight contour and using two different powder foundations is the most subtle natural and fuss free way to contour just accentuating the cheekbones and I'm going to instead of press and roll I'm just going to dab and press this under the apples of the cheeks blending towards the ear and hairline so it's not the most obvious way to contour but it really does help shape your face and I also apply some around the nose almost in the same places where you would apply bronzer it's so creamy and I love this cashmere soft finish and even though I'm prone to dry flaky patches my skin doesn't even look dry at all it just looks balanced yet luminous because I'm a perfectionist I'm just going to take a little bit more down the neck make sure to carry any color that you wear down the neck for the most seamless well blended and thoughtful makeup. Now, if you prefer liquid foundation but don't really want heavy coverage, you could always try the Skin Caviar Loose Powder. They reformulated this as well. And this one's Whisper Light. Not only does it come in this elegant jar, the La Prairie team has been thoughtful enough to include a complimentary travel size jar with a closable vented system so that you don't have powder spillage and you don't end up with half of your product spilt onto your pants and floor. The full size powder has a very generous lid and it actually has a toggle system that you push up and down to open and close the perforations. I've never seen or experienced so much thought, effort, and energy put into packaging like this so I'm very very much impressed with this product and so now I'm going to toggle it down again and I'm going to use a little bit of this loose powder to set my powder foundation as well and that's only because I don't like to touch up my face during the day and over the last year or so I have been testing a lot more synthetic bristled brushes La Prairie's loose powder brush is definitely one of the best it is dense but fluffy and you just use your wrist to do the majority of the work I like to start by rolling the bristles across the forehead. You generally want to avoid your eyebrows if possible. And then especially in places where I get oily, like around the nose, I'm going to press the top of the bristles with my fingertips and just gently 
dab the powder into place for a more targeted application. And that is a wrap for my Luminous Matte complexion. Some of you might wonder, since I am wearing three different powders, if my skin feels tight or dry throughout the day, and I guarantee you it does not, thanks to the sodium hyaluronate, which actually helps retain moisture on the surface of the skin, and it creates that really elegant, creamy feel that feels so luxurious and really comfortable as the powders are going on. I truly hope you found this review and demo helpful. If you have any questions regarding dry skin or the Skin Caviar skincare products or the powder foundation and loose powder, feel free to leave them down below or follow me on Instagram at Rayview and ask me your questions there. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!